the borders in the medieval period, borders were not drawn on the basis of nationality. They were based on the feudal tradition mm -hmm. and countries, whole sections of countries could be moved to other countries. Uh, and that was considered a normal way of operating the international system. The notion of boundaries drawn on the basis of national identity and cultural identity really began to develop in the 18th century and gained momentum only in the 19th uh, uh, century. Uh, the Austrian Empire was considered a perfectly natural phenomenon in the 18th century and became outdated in the 19th century when the nation state uh, became uh, the key element. Now at the end of World War I, the European victors of World War I carved up the Middle East on the model of the European system, but that meant a number of states of roughly equal size who would balance each other but that were no longer buttressed by a common sense of nationality. So these countries uh, were inherently rickety. And uh, it is therefore uh, very unlikely that if you look at it from a historical point of view, that the national boundaries as we know them now of countries like Iraq and Syria that had never existed before will have the same significance in a new international uh, system. But the problem is when you change the boundaries, you, you, you create a, uh, uh, a, a period of, of tension in the There has never been an Iraq before 1920. And it was composed of Kurds, Sunnis, and Shia. So in a, in a world system based on national identity, you can imagine that Iraq would break up over a period of time. But to do that peacefully is a... Uh, it's a huge challenge. And then when you add to the fact that what is now an autonomous Kurdish region borders significant Kurdish minorities in Turkey, Iran, and Syria, uh, you, you have an, another complication. Uh, that's one of the issues of our time. One would hope that the leading countries get together on some system of reconstructing the states uh, that has some, uh, some viability. Uh, but it's a very, it, it's a very tough, uh, tough thing.